Yeah, yeah. Yo, you know what it is, man. Rhythm and Vibe Podcast. We back at it, man. And today we're going to talk about that Kendrick and Drake beef, man. See what y'all think about that. Also, we're introducing a new member to the crew, Miss Latrice Barno, man. Let us know how you feel about that. You heard? Let's get it. Let's, let's jump in, man. Let's jump right in. All right. Um. So, um, we, we, we're just going to touch on what? Uh, the first one? You know what I'm saying? The initial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, the the first song. Yeah, like which ones? Which ones you heard? So only heard like, uh, only heard like uh, the like that seven man drill, push ups. Nothing. That's it, man. That was it. That was it. Yeah, I heard it was getting crazy after that. Though I heard like they was going off after that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was dropping back to back and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Matter of fact, um. You hear me? Both dropping yeah. albums, must be. You hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you said they both dropping albums, right? I ain't coming out because what they doing? That's what I'm saying. That's what I was thinking too, man. Like, why, why else would you want all this promotion and this, uh, this publicity if you're not got a project in the works type of thing, you know? Yeah, Ke- Kendrick got something. Um, he's supposed to be dropping something. That's what they saying. They saying Kendrick, um. And and Drake's last diss, he was saying, "You doing this for um, but you doing this for clout." You know what I'm saying because you you about to drop. Yeah. Right. Did uh, yo, so who started? So Kendrick started. He the one that yeah, hit yeah. first. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick, Kendrick do um, he was throwing shots at um, Cole and uh, and Drake or whatever for that, for them caught saying them talking about the big three and all that. The he was like, three, yeah. You know what I'm saying he's like. But um, there's always been like tension between uh Drake and Kendrick. They always had like some back and forth a little bit. Yeah, some back and forth. So wait a um, minute, so- if, did Future try to get at Drake too on that track? On that like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, I guess, yeah, I, I guess. I was trying to listen for. It. I didn't really hear how he was trying to get at Drake. I mean, maybe it was just you know whatever it was, but. I, like people told me that Future's getting at Drake. I heard it. It didn't really sound like that at all. I mean, maybe it was. But then when you heard Drake yeah, joint, Drake definitely got at Future a little bit. Got at Metro booming a little bit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he was like going up to everybody. Type. Yeah. Yeah. He he was shooting at everybody that everybody that threw little 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 darts at him. He was shooting. She was shooting right back at him. You know what I'm saying. Yep. So. Yep. I, I mean, you gotta tell. I gotta tell my hat off to him for that. You know what I'm saying? He was saying it's twenty. It's twenty v one. You know what I'm saying it's like versus 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 me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, and he allegedly had like relationships with all like you know like friendships with um all of these guys, and he made records with them or this type of business with them. You know what I'm saying it's kind of crazy. So he kind of know they like a little bit of a personal life type of. Yeah, they they both know they both know each other's personal to a degree. How do we feel about this J Cole joint though, man? The J Cole joint? Yeah. No, J Cole can't do no wrong. Okay, so. Okay, here we go. Here, here go the black girl. Here go the black girl. Oh, the black man. She biased already. She she biased. She should let you know she biased. J Cole can't do no wrong. I feel right. like I feel like the J Cole joint. The first half was like all right, it was kind of he was kind of hitting a little boss. He was kind of like doing his thing or whatever. But then uh that second that second segment came up and it was like, yo, I, I'm hearing mad rhymes, mad boss, and other people type type of thing, man. Like yeah. he's the boss from Nas, he's the boss from Jay Z, he's mad different boss from other people's other this records or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, and for, for me personally, I thought the first half was kind of slow. I ain't really like okay. the first half. Okay. I thought the second half is where he really, I mean, he was really doing his thing or whatever. Okay, I get that. I get that. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. I, I like the beat. To it. You didn't hear it? No. Oh my God, you got to hear it. You like Jake Cole the walking? He just can't do no wrong. I just know. But uh, no, I understood. I, I'm going to go listen to it. I'll be mean, apologized like the next day after them. So saying, that's like, what I was going to say. Yo. That's what I was going to say. So how do you feel about the apology? Yo? He was like, How do you feel about the apology? I for feel me, like, for me, I feel like play a fuck up sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And he, he felt like, okay, that wasn't even on my level. I'm I'm vibrating at a high frequency. I, that ain't even on my level. So let me apologize because I ain't trying to get into none of that. So I like it. Right. I'm all for it. Yes. Yes. 
I mean, yeah, he, he definitely did say that too. He definitely, uh, you know. But what you think? Um, I I kind of agree, kind of agreed to what she like what she said. Like everybody was like, oh, like he backed out or whatever. But I, I looked at it like yeah, that's not the type of um, vibe that Cole is on. Like Cole not on yeah. that. He's not trying to get at nobody or to do none of that. So uh, right. he he on some positive, you know, he on some positive energy type. So, right, and he messed up, and he checked himself. Like what? Self accountability. I'm, I'm for it. Yes. You know what I'm saying. So like, he, so he more thing, mature. Like, but he on some mature stuff. Like he's not, he's not on that. Like, rah rah. Yeah, and he's not on like you know, you know, black, uh, black, black people going against black people type. You know what I'm saying? He right. not, he's not, he don't, he don't want to promote that. I mean, he, he want. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, there's enough. He feel like there's enough of that going on. Like I ain't gotta tear you down to prove, I mean, to make to make my to lift myself up. up. Yeah, yeah. Right. make myself look better than I mean or whatever. And, and they try him. Yeah, they yeah. try him. He had to sue him a little bit, like hold up, and he had to put yeah, himself yeah. back. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what? Nah. Yeah. So I like it. Yeah. yeah. Personally, I feel like uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. Know, I hear. I, I hear, I hear what y'all saying. I hear what y'all saying about how you know he on some some super mature conscious. Or he's like uh, trying to be a bigger mm-hmm. person. He don't want to destroy another artist or his or his, actually his friends or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like and 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 rap yo and rap yo. It's a competitive competitive sport, my guy. <laughs> it's competitive what sport. There's okay. no backing down. There's no backing down, man. There's no. Who he back, got to you back down, you lose. You feel me? He proved nothing to. You ain't gonna prove nothing to nobody. You just can't. Back you want a more. You want a more spiritual level. When you on that, your ego and your pride, you get rid of that. So he like. I get that. You know. I get that. Who? What he got to prove? People know if he if he do a concert right now, it's gonna sell out, and he ain't got to promote it. What he got to prove? At the same time, you can say that about all three of them. Any one of them will sell out. You know yeah. what I mean? Like maybe Kendrick might sell out less on the East Coast than he would on the West Coast, but they all sell right. out. Right, but he ain't got in the pool. They do still, or their ego and pride is still high. So what he doing? He living life. He on another level. I ain't gonna hold you. That part, that part was weak, yo. That's, that was that was a lame move. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but look, I look at it like this, man. The these battles and all that to me, they don't really, they don't really, they don't really prove. Was about it, uh, yeah. It don't prove it, that you a better artist or whatever. And I'm saying, like, if you yeah. lose and win. It don't really prove that. It don't really prove that. It, it just proves that you may, maybe you're better. You better at dissing somebody or something. I'm saying you, you more right. than I am, or whatever. But I don't necessarily mean that's a pen game or or whatever it is. Is 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 more. Oh, so you talking about Eminem? You, you talking about Eminem? Uh, you talking about Eminem? You talking about like Eminem? Because this dude's became make a good song. Right. Who? Let me, nah, let me I, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not even saying that. I'm not saying that at all. Right. I'm not saying um, that. Nah, I get it. I get it. Like we said earlier, like a lot of these beats be like, uh, because they want got an album coming out, they got like publicity, they want to, they want to promote type of thing. So it's all stuff. Yeah, right. So it'd be fake. At the end of the day, it'd be fake. And maybe J Cole was like, I'm not really with the fake this, but I respect that aspect of it. But man, you just want some drama. You like, you like the type of person who called Russell uh, a scent. Russell like, Feathers. You want to know?